Welcome to Sask Music's Indigenous History Month interview series. My name is LJ Tyson. I'm honored to be joined today by Marantin. Fair Marantin, how are you? I'm great, how are you? So good, thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, it's my pleasure, really. We're here in uh, Saskatoon. We're actually in the Sask Music office, very nice space. Once again, thank you so much to Sask Music for putting on this interview series. Marantin, to jump right into things, but also not to jump right into things. How have you been? I've been good. Yeah, I've been good. I've kind of fallen off the grid a little bit this past uh, past year or so. Um, we all have. Yeah, yeah, but it's been it's been really good. I've I've been brewing up some projects and uh, working on some new stuff. So, yeah, it's been really good. It's been great. Awesome. And you have this new cool project going on called the Mystic Collective. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a kind of organization or group that we've started. We, we're not sure quite, it's kind of uh, in flow. We're not sure if we're gonna go the business route or like nonprofit route. Like we're still, it's very, very early stages of this project. But uh, we recently came into some land through our family. Um, we had a death in the family and uh, we had, we now have access to this beautiful piece of land up uh, about two hours north of Saskatoon. Um, sort of by Chittick Lake, Spiritwood area, and uh, we we just wanted to turn it into a into a space for a space for gardening, a space for community, and a space for maybe maybe it's a music venue, maybe it's a maybe it's a festival location. Like we have a lot of we have a lot of ideas bouncing around right now, and it's uh, the the idea the main driving force behind it is uh, being like out in nature and uh, and also inclusivity. It's really important. This sounds like a, a very healing space for people that they can go to. What is the, uh, not the end goal, because I know you want this to be an ongoing thing, but what's your major goal for this? Yeah, so um, I would say short term, um, we we want to have it open to the public. We want to be, we want people to be able to come see us anytime, you know, stop by. Check out the check out the space, and uh, we've got a we've got a beautiful garden out there now, and it's only going to get prettier as as the uh, months go by. Um, but short term goals, I want to I want to create a couple really unique, um, like like uh, I want to create a couple really unique outdoor uh, experiences, like off grid. Maybe maybe like a maybe like a small cabin or like a I want to do really really most importantly I want to do like a songwriter's retreat, like a, a picture like a log cabin in the bush somewhere and you have to you uh, you park your car, um, and then you have to hike in and then there's this cabin in the woods and you can uh, just write songs out there and uh, <laughs> yeah it's it's amazing it yeah. sounds amazing uh, long term I want to have a fully uh, fully functional off grid recording studio. Out there is uh is my goal for this is uh to have a place where an artist can come and stay for an extended period of time um like up to you know two weeks or whatever and they can come and use this recording studio and uh i think that that's like long term where we where we want to where i want to be with that anyways um all of us have different goals with yeah. this with this thing but mine is definitely uh, music based yeah we should talk about your music production because you're also a music producer I mean you've um, produced a lot of your own projects what would you like to do with that in the future you want to keep producing stuff absolutely I do um, I've, I've been uh, focusing my efforts on this new project lately but uh, I do have some things brewing in the background some ideas generating and some uh, some new stuff in the works but uh, it's it's not a fully fledged idea yet, so I'm not uh, not ready to share too much about it. For sure, today. we'll keep it yeah. under lock and key. <laughs> you can tell me off camera. Yeah, for sure. So, what is coming next for like for your personal music? I know there's the Mystic Collective that you're very busy right now, but an artist is always an artist at heart. Absolutely. So, what do you want to do next? Um, well, once I'm once I'm at once I'm at a place with Mystic Collective where I feel like it can handle itself, you know, like yeah. uh, like. Once, once it's at a place where we're happy with, I definitely, I definitely want to be putting out music again and uh, and touring. And I never really had the chance to tour because I released my music and then COVID hit. Like you know, it was like maybe a year in there where I did some shows and then I wasn't able to do any for a while. And uh, it would be really cool to get back into it. Um, I don't have any any releases scheduled yet, but uh, they'll be coming. Awesome. Know? 
If you had to pick another Saskatchewan artist, an Indigenous artist here in Saskatchewan, who are you recommending to our viewers? Mm. Hard question. Besides you. Yeah. Uh, Don't <laughs> <see> me. <laughs> um, no, uh, longtime friend and mentor of mine, uh, the North Sound, check them out. Amazing people, amazing music. Um, if you haven't heard them already, which you probably should have, uh, that, yeah, I'd say I'd say them like their their music's unreal. So awesome! And where can people find the Mystic Collective and you on social media? Yeah, so we've got uh, we're making some moves on TikTok and Instagram right now. Uh, it's just at Mystic Collective on both uh, both platforms. Um, me personally, you can find me on anywhere, <laughs> anywhere really, Merent and Fair on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Shebang. One of the kindest people that I've known, and he's so supportive, and I'm so grateful that you're doing this for others. You know, the Mystic Collective. I think it's going to be such a special project. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you. Thank you for having me.